Simone de Beauvoir was born in Paris on June 9, 1908, into a bourgeois family that was ruined in the aftermath of the First World War. She was a very good student who discovered the literary culture from her father, whom she admired for his intelligence. She learned the Catholic faith from her mother and at the Cour de Cire, a very Catholic institution where she was trained until the baccalaureate. However, Beauvoir lost her religious faith at the age of 14. She recounts this in the first volume of her memoirs, Memoirs of Dutiful Daughter. She had a sister, Hélène de Beauvoir, who was born two years after her and who will be recognized painter, but whose legacy has yet to be measured. Because the family went bankrupt and found itself ruined, Simone and her sister had to study to find a job, their father being unable to provide a dowry for a marriage. For them, this was the path to freedom. After her baccalaureate, she decided to specialize in philosophy and started taking courses at the Sorbonne. While preparing for the Agregation, which was a very competitive teaching examination in France, she met a circle of friends from the École Nationale Supérieure, and in this group was Jean-Paul Sartre. In 1929, Beauvoir was received second after Sartre, who was trying the competition for the second time. That same year also saw the famous pact between the two. Then Beauvoir had to teach, first in the provinces, before returning to Paris in 1936. She recounts this period in Prime of Life, the second volume of her memoirs. She remained alone in Paris. Her friends left and Sartre was taken prisoner at the beginning of the war. She worked. She wrote her first novel, which was published in 1944 she came to stay. She then entered her life as a public writer of novels and philosophical studies. In 1949, The Second Sex, her most famous essay, was published. In 1954, Beauvoir obtained the Goncourt Prize for her novel The Mandarins. She multiplied her travels to visit or to give lectures with Sartre. She committed herself against the Algerian war, notably with the case of Bupacha, a young Algerian girl who was tortured. Then in 1958, she began a decade of autobiographical writing. At the beginning of the 70s, she joined and supported the second wave feminism movement. And in 1986, Beauvoir left this world. And as Elizabeth Badinter wrote, Women, you owe her everything.